Hello, welcome to my how to make a XLR microphone out of a rotary or touch tone um, telephone. Uh, I have a Western Electric telephone I picked up from an antique store here in the video. That's pretty cool. Uh, um, I'm going to be using the keeping the function of the hanging up um, to keep it on stage so you can mute it whenever you want to by hanging up. It's pretty simple. It's only held together by these two screws um, as far as the casing is concerned. Um, the bell actually removed for the sake of weight and cumbersome. Um, the main unit is this uh, board right here. Uh, the right hand corner with the green and red wires here those are your two main speaker ends or for your microphone and this is your ground um, or the first one with the white and red wire to it um, it was pretty simple and straight straightforward uh, it was a fun little build uh, first to start out by this is where the handset comes in um, and I needed to figure out what's what color my microphone was going to be um, so tracing it back under the leads here see that the colors are red and black um, and that the speaker in the handset here the leads for that one are white so and it's only two leads each so it's pretty simple and straightforward um, as far as parts are concerned um, for the build I got this little breakout box and I took the um, XLR input off of the board and just use that for my purposes here. Alright, skipping forward here. This is after I've done all my soldering and clamping and everything. Um, got my hole drilled on the outside here with my XLR out. Um, you could either put it on the side or you could put it um, probably on the top angle if you wanted to. It doesn't really matter. There's plenty of space, um, especially after you remove the bell. Uh, takes up a lot of space. Um, so getting into it here, my lighting situation is a bit difficult, so I had to reshoot this actually. But here are the two speaker wires. Um, you may fiddle around with with which one's which, but on the XLR, these two are going to uh, pin number one and number two um, and this is all preamp signal so you're going to want to insulate everything pretty well I just used some uh, wiring tape uh, electrical tape and then I ran my black wire for a ground over to this pin over here um, which I show more depth here in a minute um, and you can see I just pretty much went into the back wall with my uh, XLR there but that's an overhead of the circuit board there or switchboard whatever it's called um, and you maybe try around with different places on it to get a ground um, I found that was the best spot for me but you, you will get a popping and a crackling without a ground as well as um, this microphone is not powered um, but I find that it actually does not work at all unless you're running some phantom power uh, I have a little board that just uses uh, 48 volts phantom power and it's, it works fine um, so here just plugging it in and how the mechanics work and all that I'm gonna have a little demonstration of the sound in the next clip because 
We all know you want to hear how it sounds. All right, the moment you've all been waiting for. Um, this has a very nice uh, lo-fi sound to it, a little bit of distortion almost. Um, but yeah, all in all, really fun mod to do. Put this video up because I hadn't seen anyone else with um, a tutorial or anything like this. And uh, yeah, so probably whoever came up with it, I found, I've seen it in a couple other places, but I hadn't broke it down for myself. And yeah, these phones are really easy to come by on eBay. Pretty much just pay the shipping. I mean, like I said, maybe I'll find them at Goodwill or in your grandparents' basement. Um, really easy mod to do. Really cheap um, to get like an XLR input and everything. But yeah, highly recommend it. And it even makes cl cool clicky sounds when you uh, dial the phone. And or example. Like so. But, yep. Thanks for watching. Uh, leave comments if you have any questions or anything to add.